In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a demo site. So you may be wondering, what's the purpose of a demo site? Well, imagine this. Let's say you have a website which has maybe a plugin or you're a company that's uh, producing a plugin, but you want people to test it before they actually buy it so that they can have some sort of an experience before they purchase it. So this is where they will have their login details. They can log in, play around with the website, but the cool thing is the site is not permanent. It can get erased or it self-destructs. So this is what I'm going to show you in today's video. All right, so what we're going to do is you need to decide which website you want to set up as a demo. So let's say it's this one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to templates. Next, we're going to click on add new. So you can see here, this is the list of all my sites on my account. All right, next I need to choose my site. So it's this very first one here. I'm going to go ahead and click on next. We're going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it uh, Mac demo site. We're going to give it a description here. So I've just entered some dummy text in here. So here's the thing. We have two options here. We have private or shared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to shared. So this now creates a public sandbox. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on save. So now we have Mac demo site. It's going to take a moment to uh, build the website. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the shared link and then see how this is going to work. But the really cool thing about this is once you've set everything up, you can actually come over here and see some statistics. So if you click here, this will tell you how many people, in fact, let's go to this one here on the bottom while this one here is loading up. So if you come over here on, on your statistics, you can actually see how many people are visiting your site. So you can see this here, you can go to last 15 days, you can go to last week and so on. So this is pretty cool that you can actually see the stats here and how your site is performing. So let's go back here. I'm sure now it is ready. And sure enough, our site is ready. So all I have to do now is to click on copy link. But this time I'm going to go into incognito mode because this is how I'm going to see this site better. Right, so here now we are on our demo site and here it says this site will expire in four hours. So this gives us enough time to go in and play around with the features of the actual website. So now it's saying launch demo. I'm going to click in and enter my email address. So let's go with and then I'm going to click on proceed. So this is now installing our site with all our plugins, our theme and so on. So it's pretty cool that every time someone goes in, they can actually have a fully featured site with the experience that you would have created while uh, putting together the demo site. So this is a really, really powerful example. Like I said, this can be used by developers. It can be used by um, plugin creators. You know, so many people can use this. So you just have to be creative about it. But it's amazing how InstaWP gives us all these features for us to play around with. It's not just a um, service that allows you to build your or build and host your sites. We can do fancy things like, you know, setting up our demo sites. So it's almost done now. Now remember, this is installing pretty much the whole website. So here's what happens now. I can actually clone this site or I can log in. So you notice that I didn't need to go in and start creating my username, password. It has the magic login. So if I click on that, all of a sudden now, I am going to be logged into my WordPress admin dash dashboard of the demo site. So here I am. So if I have, let's say, a list of plugins, I can come over here. I can see all the plugins over here. If it's um, my themes, I can see my themes here. I could play around with all the features. If it's a design that I need to see and play around with the, uh, with the back end and all the features, I can just pretty much go in here and play around with that. But the most important thing is after four hours, the website is going to expire. But anyway, guys, you can get creative with these demo sites. The most important thing is you can log in, magic login, no need to um, save any passwords in your email or whatever it is. It just allows you. It's very, very seamless. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.